Hi guys, so now we're going to be doing more of SATs in this problem, but we're going to rationalize those SATs. So if you've been following in our topic of exponents, you'll know that this is going to be the last video under exponents, right? If you haven't seen the previous videos, please look in the description below of this video. I have written or rather I have typed all the links to other videos so that you understand the entire topic of exponents otherwise let's continue and rationalize these problems here say we have 2 over root of 5 right and we need to simplify this problem right and if you were to punch the calculator and say 2 over root of 5 it will give you a specific answer it won't give you, give you 2 over root of 5 right hence we need to simplify this further and find that answer that you're going to see in your calculator. So what we normally do when we rationalize is we multiply with the denominator. You know, we multiply with the denominator twice. We multiply at the top and at the bottom, just like this. We use the denominator to multiply, right? Don't forget that. So, which is what I did. Then from here, you're just going to multiply this 2 with this root of 5 and this root of 5 with this root of 5 right and then you're going to get um 2 root of 5 right that's what you're going to get from the top and at the bottom root of 5 times root of 5 is actually equals to root of 5 times 5 hope you can uh, recall that we did it in previous videos if you Want to know which video look in the description it's going to be five times five right and then from here we are going to have two root of five divided by the root of 25 so it's important to break everything down up until you get to this point i know people were already at a root of five right you probably knew that before you even uh use the other steps so please just make sure that you show all your steps so that you get maximum marks and then now from this point we are going to say root i mean 2 root of 5 divide by so the root of 25 is actually 5 and this is the solution this is the exact same answer you got when you when you punched your calculator 2 over root of 5 right so that's how we rationalize Let's do another problem. Let's do another problem. Oops, give me a moment. Say now we are having uh, root of 3 over root of 12. I said we use a denominator to multiply twice, right? Multiply the top with the denominator and the bottom. Basically, you did nothing here because you said root of 12 over root of 12, which is 1. Right. Hence, we're just manipulating, rationalizing, we are manipulating the problem. Uh, anyways, so this will multiply this, and this will multiply this. So we will have equals to, we will have, so the root of, root of 3 multiplied by root of 12 is actually the same as having this 1 root and saying 3 times 12. Right. And what is 3 times 12? We know it's 36 right so you don't have to skip these step the steps <laughs> rather skips what did i say you don't have to skip these steps right you need to indicate all these steps so i'm just gonna write down this part here which is root of 3 times 12 divided by root of 12 times 12 right for this bottom one and then now we know 3 times 12 is 36 so it's root of 36 and 12 times 12 is root of 144 right so what is root of 36 root of 36 is 6 and root of 144 is 12 right and then now you can just simplify this 6 goes how many times here it once goes twice so it's the answer is 1 over 2 right so that is your final answer for this problem how do you see that you are correct punch this in your calculator and see if you're going to get this solution here anyways let's do another problem another interesting problem are you guys enjoying exponents let me know in the comment section if you're enjoying or 
it's been difficult so that we really enjoy start to enjoy experience anyways um so let's do another problem which is say we having root of five minus root of two right and it's divided by the root of five plus root of two so this one is different from the other ones that we've been doing let me just put in brackets you'll see why so i said you use the denominator to multiply right to rationalize which is normally what we say remember if you let's say you're two root of five you're going to use the denominator to multiply right but now because we are having a situation where our denominator is root of five plus root of two we're not going to multiply by root of five plus root of two but we're going to multiply by root of five minus root of two so the sign changes in this case because there's a sign it's going to change or you change it it's not like it's going to change when it's own, right <laughs> so you're going to change it to say root of five minus root of two divide by root of five minus root of two so that's how you you go about solving these ones right you change the sign instead of using positive it's negative if it was negative you're going to put positive and then now you can multiply you can multiply your problems now and what's at the top multiply it what's at the top and what's at the bottom you multiply it what's at the bottom so from the top we can see that um it's going to be root of 5 multiplied by root of 5 so it's 5 times 5 we all know that now um or you can just say root of 5 multiplied by root of 5 which is definitely 5 times 5 hope i am making myself clear and then now let me just remove this so and then you're going to multiply this you're going to multiply the same root of 5 with this 2 here so it's going to be minus root of 2 multiplied by root of 5 same here it's going to be minus root of 2 multiplied by root of 5 and then this root of 2 minus this root of 2 multiplied by this minus root of 2 it's going to be plus root of 2 times 2 right divide by and then here this at the bottom, if you can see, it's a difference of two squares. Dif difference of two squares is when you have x minus 1, x plus 1, right? So you know very well that you're going to have x squared minus 1. Same applies here. What we'll do is we will say it's a root of 5, it's a root of 5, and it's a difference of two squares. So we're going to simply say 5 times 5 minus root of 2 times 2, right? Because it is positive and negative. Right. So um, let's go down. So now, let me just remove this. So now you have this return, which here you're going to get 25, right? So it's root of 25 minus, so you just add these, minus 2 root of 2 root of 5 plus root of 4 all over root of 25 minus root of 4 right so then from this stage what is root of 25 it's 5 minus 2 root of 2 root of 5 plus 2 which is the root of 4 right and then um it's divided by root of 25 is 5 minus root of 4 is 2 so you're gonna have Call it the like terms, these two and this, I mean this five, why am I saying it's two? So this five and this two add together will give you seven. So it's seven minus two root of two root of five all over five minus two is three, right? So from here, because here we're having root of two and root of five let's just multiply them together right so we're gonna have seven minus two root of two times five divided by three right 
and then from here it's 7 minus 2 root of 10 divide by 3 All right so this is basically the solution for this problem here um, so what I need you guys to do is um, try out these problems I'm just gonna write them down now just try out these problems here which is this one here of root of 3 over root of 3 minus 1 minus 2 over root of 3 second one is 3 over 4 root of 3 and the third one is 1 over 1 minus root of 2 please try these problems let me know what you're getting in the uh, comment section tell me oh to me so i'm struggling or oh, this is the answer that i got i will respond to your messages guys i'll respond to your comments and let you know if those answers are correct i hope you enjoyed the topic of exponents it's been nice it's been fun if this is just the only video that you saw look at my description below check the other videos under this topic so that you can master this topic of exponents now we're going to do um, equations and inequalities check this description of this video it has equations and inequalities which is the next topic after exponents thank you so much for watching guys take care thank you so much for watching if you have any questions suggestions or comments please write them down in the comment section below otherwise please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button